This is John with another edition of the Cupboards Artist Insights, and we're with another great glass blower, Scott from Cherry Glass. Scott, what motivated you to be a glass blower pipe maker? I used to work in the healthcare field, and then uh, one of my high school friends moved back up north where I live, and he was a glass blower down there and asked me if I wanted to apprentice under him. So naturally, I said yes, and as soon as I could make 500 bucks a month. I quit my other job and went full-time glass blowing. And how many years have you been blowing glass? Ten years now. As a glass blower, I'm sure after ten years you've had experience with injuries. Any particular incidents stand out in your memory? Uh, my worst injury I ended up in the ER because I uh, was watching TV and making a marble at the same time and I tilted my hand into the fire and when I looked up at the TV. And I burnt both my knuckles and they swelled up at about that high with, with a blister. And that took me out of work for about two weeks. So I learned not to watch TV and blow glass at the same time. Now, your glass is different than a lot of other glass blowers. You do a lot of electroforming like the castles. We have some of those in the cupboard right now. And uh, if you want to talk about these, what influenced you to make those and what makes your glass a little different? Um, we, got, we were able to get a whole, learn how to electroform and we didn't really want to go into the steampunk design so we, we thought about what else could we do with, instead of going steampunk or just, just playing coppering and I like castles, I like the medieval style so I, I made a castle and then the electroforming made it all come together and then at the same time I had heard that we could electroform bugs and when I heard about that, I caught a spider in my, in my house and I froze it real quick. And then we, that was the first thing I electroplated was a spider. And we, we do bugs, we do butterflies, dragonflies, scorpions, whatever we can get our hands on. How cool. And tell our listeners where they can find you on social media. Uh, we use Instagram, which we're cherry glass for there, just all one word. And then uh, on Facebook, we're also Cherry Glass. At the cupboard in Cincinnati, you can find a lot of my pieces there. And some of the more unique ones are my castles that I make. And we use uh, real bugs. Like here is a uh, tarantula hawk wasp. And that's a bug that's known at, for hunting down spiders. So what I did there is I put a wolf spider just below it. And I have the, the hawk, the tarantula hawk wasp is going to be attacking it. So I'm trying to make it have a little action and a little theme behind it. Um, we make our own webbing and we use glow-in-the-dark powder on the castle so that they'll shine bright when you bring them into a dark room. And we use uh, Brazilian agate slabs for the base so that they sit nice and flat. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just think they're really cool because they glow in the dark and they're real bugs. <laughs>